Indoraptor. This is a dinosaur created with a purpose. It can even see in the dark and uses echolocation to find its prey. Now, nature might eventually have created the Indoraptor, but I got there first. Is it dangerous? Yes. But then so is science. to the maximum, and the body count to a minimum. Hmm? <laughs> George Lambert is the man tasked with that, uh, task? Mr. Lambert? This is the polar canvas, and it's covered in armor plates and spikes. Mess with this animal at your own risk. This dinosaur, the Corythosaurus, is a duck-billed animal that looks like it's wearing a helmet. I mean, check that thing out. I wouldn't want to butt heads with it. This dinosaur, the Draco Rex, is something strange. Its name means the Dragon King of a fictional school for wizards. I think I could have come up with that myself. The name, not the dinosaur. For that, we need the scientists. you so here's a little about me I'm Isaac Lemon but just call me Isaac no need for formalities besides in the park we've got to watch each other's backs now people think we're in the dinosaur game but the truth is we're entertainers and our headliners traveled 65 million years to make the show so let's make it a good one ah this is a Uaplocephalus an herbivore and relatively harmless dinosaur. As long as you stay out of the way of the heavy club on his tail. If it swings that your way, you could be relatively finished. Welcome to your future and our past. I'm Claire Deering. I used to be management, until things went awry. Now I'm more of an advocate. John Hammond wanted a world with dinosaurs, and I want us to take care of them. I hope you do as well. This is the Albertosaurus, so named because it was first discovered in the Canadian province of Alberta. This animal is a smart predator that relies on its rows of sharp teeth. 
They exhibit pack behavior, which is very exciting to witness, as long as you're doing so from a safe distance. This flat-headed dinosaur, the Homolocephaly, can appear unassuming, and perhaps even cute to some. But let's also stay on top of the science. We can learn a lot from a little. sea mammals and has to come up for air. It basically spends its time surfing and eating, which is not a bad way to live. to confuse this animal, the Giganotosaurus, with the T-Rex. They look similar, act similar, and both have that eat everything within their field of vision thing working for them. This dinosaur is also fast. Bottom line, if you find yourself running from this biggie, you already made a fatal mistake. Sauropod, the Nigersaurus, was originally discovered in fossilized form in the Republic of Niger, hence the name. Now, it lives thanks to our efforts and our science. Notice the long tail, the flat skull. However, this dinosaur is smaller than some of its cousins. Now that we have them to study, perhaps we can learn why. This dinosaur is something special. Seriously, look at the size of this thing. It's called the Mementosaurus. This thing is one of the largest animals to ever walk the earth. And now, thanks to the wonders of genetic engineering, it's doing just that again. The goal of the park is to keep guest count to the maximum and the body count to a minimum. Hmm? <laughs> George Lambert is a man tasked with that, uh, task. Mr. Lambert? This is a Cryolophosaurus, one of the more colorful members of the collection. It's a carnivore, so take the necessary precautions and don't let its looks deceive you. What we have here is a Herrerasaurus. It's a carnivore and a spectacular addition to our dinosaurs. It just requires a little TLC.
this dinosaur, the Styracosaurus, has huge horns and a large spike similar to a rhinoceros. It also has the personality to match. It's an herbivore and uses those horns and a beak to break into even the toughest of plants. Dr. Kajal Dua. I'd ask what brings you here, but I'm not sure I'd get an answer. <laughs> the Compsognathus is a small predator, but don't let its stature fool you. It can be a ruthless hunter. Stay with me. This dinosaur is called a Carcharodontosaurus. Talk about a mouthful, right? And seeing that this animal is an alpha predator, its mouth is usually full of the slow, the weak, and the inattentive. <laughs> Hence the reason I'm not getting near it. You, on the other hand. introduce you to the Metria Canthosaurus. Say that fast three times. This is another alpha predator that, while not as big as some of its cousins, tends to stand more upright. So I guess it has good posture while it's tearing you to shreds. work with the dinosaurs, and now you do too. I'm Owen Green. From my experience, I've learned the most important thing is to respect these animals, because if you don't, they won't have any trouble making you their next meal. This animal, though an herbivore, can intimidate most predators with its size. It's a biggie named Dreadnoughtus. I'd give this dinosaur a wide berth. possible for a dinosaur to be both elegant and awkward at the same time, then the Mudaborosaurus takes the prize. This is a large herbivore that should make for an excellent addition to our collection. If you don't think nature can be bonkers at times, then you've never laid eyes on this newest animal, the Geosternbergia. However, it is apparently graceful in the air. Not that I would know, but isn't that your job? mother reptile, because its fossils were first discovered in a nesting colony. And really, who doesn't love a good mother? Mm -hmm. 
So when people come to the park, they want to learn something, sure, but they also want to be entertained. And this marine reptile, the Mosasaurus, is just that, a showstopper. If the T-Rex is the ruler of the dinosaurs on land, then the Mosasaurus holds that title below the waves. Make sure this animal is a premium attraction.